Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn how to save contacts from your WordPress forms to Google Sheets by using the WP Forms plugin. Integrating your site's forms with a service like Google Sheets can not only save you so much time by automating the process of adding the information for you, but it also allows anyone else you might be working with to easily monitor any new or current form entries without having to log into your WordPress dashboard. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site and on the plugins page, we'll click on the add new button on the top left corner and then click on the upload plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. We'll first want to go to the add ons page and activate the Zapier add on that's included in the pro license level of WP Forms. The Zapier add-on allows you to connect your form to any of the over 2,000 apps available through their service. Just note, you'll need to sign up for a Zapier account before you complete this process. Go to WP Forms, Add-ons, scroll down to find the Zapier add-on, and click on the Install Add-on button. Once it's done, the add-on status will appear as active, and you're all set. We'll then head over to the Settings tab to find our Zapier API key. You can find this key under the Integrations tab in the Settings page. Be sure to keep this window open as we'll need this key in a few moments. We'll then open a new tab and log into our Zapier account to create our Zap. Click on the button labeled Make a Zap and we'll be taken to the Setup page. Within the first section, we'll choose our first app and event. In the search box, type WP Forms and click on it once it appears. After you've selected WP Forms, Zapier will then display your trigger options under Choose Trigger Event. WP Forms has only one trigger option, so we'll choose the New Form Entry option. Zapier then asks us to choose our account. When you click on the Sign In to WP Forms button, an overlay will appear. This is where we'll need our API key found in the Integrations tab of the Settings page in WP Forms on our site. We'll quickly tab over, copy the key, and paste it into the API key field in the Zapier overlay. Next, you'll need to fill out the website field. Be sure to enter the full URL of your site. When you're done, click on the red Yes Continue button and your WP Forms account will now be connected to Zapier. You'll choose your newly connected account, click Continue, and be taken to the next step, Customize Form Entry. Here, you're going to select the specific form you'd like to use for the Zap, in our case, it will be a simple contact form on our site. An important note, you'll want to make sure that you select a form that has at least one entry in it already. The reason for this comes into play in our next step, Find Data. This step will allow you to pull data from the form you selected to test your connection. Once you've completed this step, we'll move on to the second section. This is where we'll find and select the app we'd like to connect our forms to. In this case, we're going to look for and select Google Sheets. And we'll then be asked to select the Google Sheets action. Since we want to add form entries to our Google Sheet, we'll choose Create Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. Next, you'll need to connect your Google account to Zapier. You'll need to authorize Zapier to access your Google Sheets data, and once that's done, click Continue. Before you can import any form entries into Google Sheets, you'll need to create a new spreadsheet by logging into your Google Sheets account. Additionally, you'll have to add new rows to your spreadsheet so that the form entries can be configured with the corresponding row. For our Google Sheets setting within Zapier, we'll need to specify the name of the spreadsheet and the worksheet. Once you select them, you'll be able to see the rows you created on this particular spreadsheet. Make sure to connect each of your form's fields to their corresponding fields in Google Sheets, and when you're done, Click Continue. You can then click on Test to see what data has been updated in Google Sheets. You can log into your Google Sheets account 
and make sure that the data you just updated is now on the spreadsheet. Finally, our last step is to turn on our Zap. You can name your Zap if you'd like, turn it on, and you're all set. Your contact form is now connected to Google Sheets via Zapier, and your form entries will now automatically be added to your spreadsheet. But before we wrap things up though, let's go ahead and go back to WP Forms to make sure our notification and confirmation settings are set up properly, as well as test our form to make sure that the connection is working as it should. We'll go back to our site, click on our simple contact form to go into the form builder, then click on the settings tab on the left and go to notifications. The admin email in this field is the admin email address for your WordPress website. So if you'd like the notification for this form to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. Make any additional changes to your notification settings, and afterwards, let's configure our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form. Message, show page, or go to URL. We'll stay with the default message option for now. Save your changes, and then exit out of the form builder, and once we're on the dashboard, we're going to create a new page for our form. Since we created a simple contact form, let's call our page Contact Us. You can then click on the plus icon directly underneath the title or on the top left corner of the page editor to add a new block. From there, scroll down to the widgets option and select WP Forms. You'll then be able to select the form we just created and when it's done loading, go ahead and click on the Publish button on the top right corner. We'll then click on the View Page button and then we'll fill out and submit the form. Now we'll head over to our Google Sheet and there you have it. The information we just submitted in our form is now on our Google Spreadsheet. Your form is now set to automatically send your form entries directly to your Google Spreadsheet via the Zapier add-on. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.